works for me whatever <laughs> I was I was finishing up watching a video and it was making me laugh uh, but I hope everyone's doing okay it's it's been a minute my voice is still fucked up I still sound so sick <laughs> and I don't know if I'll feel any better but whatever we'll, we'll live um, <clears throat> yeah I hope everyone's had a good week so far I feel, it feels weird when this Tuesday. I could have technically streamed yesterday, but I, I was like, you know what? I'm going to focus on that commission. And, uh, yeah. So, happy to be back. I haven't actually played Pokemon I think since last week. Like, it, it's, it's been a minute. I, I actually haven't really been playing too many games besides Sky. This is my, my normal, like, let's play a game during the day. Um, yeah. What were we... Doing. Was I leveling up? We brute forced the team. No, no, we didn't even finish it. We need to level up, right? So. Uh, yeah, because I need to be level 19. Correct. No, I, I, I like literally have not played Pokemon at all <laughs> since last week. Uh, and even last week, I don't even think I played my personal save. I think I just played this one. Um, so I am super great. Um, that being said, actually, I beat the electric gym. So I, I'm, I've definitely <laughs> gotten further because I found out recently or like, yeah, like sometime like a week or two ago, I found out that I was playing the game in the wrong order. So I was like, oh, no wonder I was struggling. Nick hates snow. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing this week? I'm so glad I'm off work. <laughs> Damn, um, by the time you beat this, uh, the next, I feel like that's actually probably ideal. I kind of rushed on it, but what is this? What's fire? Change Pokemon for sheer. Um, yeah, I hope everyone's had a good one. Do I even have a water Pokemon? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I do. Not really, no. <laughs> and we shall forego that one. My morning this morning is so fucking stupid. I didn't tweet about it. I posted on, um, I think I posted on the Discord though. But um, I got to work this morning, and all of our monitors were changed at work, but not in a good way. Because, you know, most of us have to use at least two monitors for what we do. And so when I got into work and I saw that I had one just giant monitor, like, like laughably huge. Like, it, it, it was ridiculous. I was just was looking at it, I'm like, what the fuck? Um... <laughs> And I was just like, what the f what is going- No, I don't want to be here. Um, but yeah, it, it was very stupid. The monitor they gave me too was broken, so I had to swap it out for another one. And I also just stole another monitor because no one's using it. Um, I just- by the way, I, stole is a very loose term. I just literally like- if, I if, to hear what you're if, talking about. You never heard that song? <laughs> <laughs> It was actually a, a new sound redeem if anyone wants to, to do it, because <laughs> it made me laugh. Oh, what's this? Ooh, fishy. 
steal everything, especially from the rich corporations. I don't work for a rich corporation. I, I, that being said, I guess it is the government, so that, that's neither here nor there. <laughs> it's the final end. <laughs> 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 this makes me laugh. It's the final end. <laughs> Just so atonal. <laughs> Fucking so stupid. <laughs> Hello. Actually, no, come back. Right, um. And then I fired again. <laughs> and then I missed. And then I fired. And then I fired. And I missed. I missed both times. And then I fired. And I missed. The game Grum's audio is just killing me. But yeah, I hope uh, everyone's had a good week so far. I'm excited that Friday is tomorrow. And we'll see about the weather, but we may actually have fun. Um, might have to work from home tomorrow or something. Actually, I don't know if I can. I don't know if I have a VPN. How dare you? Thunderbolt. Also, maybe. <clears throat> Still the government is a gray area. Yeah, it's like a mixed bag. But, uh... I mean, I, but literally, I'm not stealing. I just, I literally just moved a monitor from uh, the communal section to my place. That's it. Uh, and it can always be unplugged and put it back in. Choose the next Pokemon. What do I got to It's your turn. Easy place in the, for the Christmas cup. Oh, yeah. Oh my god. Oh, want some advice on catching uh, Dreepy early in this game? What's Dreepy again? I forgot! Grandma wanted me to tell you she's making stew tonight! Fuck oh, yeah! Oh, how's the tattoo, Arnok? It looks so good. Just get my ball, motherfucker. Doing great. Nice. You bastard, I'm just gonna make him murder your face. Can't even see your ass. Um magical Dreepy is the ghost dragon. Nope, oh, not, not ringing any bells. Ooh, yes, yeah, seed bomb. That's a great move. Please. To enter the... I don't know any Pokemon. <laughs> That's one thing I've learned while playing this game. I'm like, I don't know any of the new Pokemon. I haven't played this game, like, this series in a long time, and I'm just like, mm, nothing's familiar. Actually, that's a lie, but, like, not much. I hate these grasshoppers, man. It's a Gen 8, yeah, I definitely did not play that one. Or wait, no, is it is this Gen 8 or Gen 9? No, I'm thinking about it. Oh, it's it's fucking waste critical. Oh, this is nine, okay. Yeah, I wanted to play Sword and Shield, but um I couldn't really justify getting it at the time. Um something in the future I might pick it up. Though, I, I'm like hearing mixed things, but I'm like, eh, but it's a, a newer gen Pokemon where you can really cut, like wear cute clothes. I'm still kind of low-key salty that <laughs> we just have our fucking uniforms in this game. Check Facebook. I sent um, so I recorded uh, the concert without commentary uh, and posted it on YouTube so my dad could see. But it's like unlisted, so don't look for it. it although I think um, Nasty Mold might have um, a recording of the concert if you're interested in watching it but not being there for it for uh, uh, for the Aurora concert in Sky. Um, but I don't know. I just I really. Uh, I really think that Sky is just like 
such a great game for such a like a minimal list kind of play style like it realistically there's not much going on in that game and yet I love it I hated seven passion wait which one's seven seven correct Vika Volt was was so cool what was Vika Volt wait yeah whoops you know, that's a pause. One second. I'm going to Google Vika Volt because I don't know what that is. <laughs> uh, Vika Volt. Oh, it's like a bug. Ooh. Vika Volt's cool. Uh, evolving it was terrible. <laughs> Wait, what's the evolution? I, I'm sorry, we're sitting in silence, I guess, when, <laughs> while I figure this out. Wait, it evolved. Okay. Shiny Vika Volt. What is it evolving to? Rowlet dressed him. Well, yeah, Rowlet is adorable. I love it. I, I, I don't know. I, I wanted to keep up with the Pokemon, but. It's hard, they're so expensive. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, well, if we can't get around that way, I guess we should just explore. Gen 7 also has Lichen Rock. <clears throat> Lichen Rock, I wonder what that, that is. Um, like generally terrible and impossible to figure out without a guide. Hmm. This game has three Pokemon like that, which is fine though. Uh, looks at the un uh, unexplained walking evolution mechanic of uh, Scarlet. Sorry, Scarlet and uh, Violet. Yeah. Oh. oh okay. Okay. <laughs> My brain went like, it's. <laughs> it's a like molten bird <laughs> or a rock bird maybe uh, Vika Volt and Glissopod are both badass designs which ends up on this first I, I don't know I, w I want to see it more but eh. Hell. where really should I go to Where are grass Pokemon that I can use my bug type against? Oh, wait. Aren't the sheep grass Pokemon? Also, me. What's your summary? Oh, yeah, you're close. So let's, uh, let's kill some sheep. I think I'd be around here somewhere. There's one. Whee! Who is it, um, was it X and Y that they introduced these guys? The Skiddo? You can ride on them? It was not effective. Now consume your body. Ooh, I can too. Oh, I should have got more Pokeballs. Dang it. I, one thing I, I think is funny uh, about this game is how happy the trainer looks, right? So happy. Oh, hell yeah! Pikachu wants to learn faint. Sure. Faint's like a quick attack kind of thing, right? Uh, of course, it's a fucking... This attack can hit a target using a move such as protect. Oh, uh, that's actually pretty good. No, dang it, I did the wrong thing. <laughs> Whatever, I bet you I can do it later. 
ladder. <laughs> sure, that's what I meant to do. Uh, get this to evolve uh, Crab Brawler in Gen 7. You had to go to Victory Road to do it. It's a Pokemon you'll likely have uh, have early because it's in the first route. Okay. And the evolution is worse due to the typing and stats. Man, I don't I don't ever pay attention to that stuff. Uh, Vika Volt could only be evolved in one specific stretch for uh, a stretch of land. That's wild. And one Pokemon has to evolve while it learns stomp. Interesting. Salaz Sal Salazzle is the, uh, is only female and it's very rare. I like how they kind of fixed that in this one. <laughs> um kind of sort of. They didn't? Oh yeah, that's right. I just caught a a, a normal uh what's the evolution called? This sexy lizard. <laughs> my entire body. That's another thing. My neck has been swollen this week. And I don't know why. I, I must have heard it doing something stupid. I, I can't tell you what I did though. <laughs> so, I don't know. My whole body is incredibly stiff and in pain. Um, she's not as rare, but at least you can catch the evolution. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, someday. She might still be rare. I, I mean, not that rare, because you'll see like a group of them and then she'll be in one of them. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, I didn't mean to stress you out, I'm sorry. Oh. oh. Hello. I don't know if I have one of these. What are these called, Bambi? I think? Yeah, Bampy. Bampy! Uh, I don't even know what type of Pokemon this is. Like, you're adorable. Oh boy! You're strong! Hmm. I think i Uh, well, she might uh, support. Uh, I grind a lot. Although there are certain rare Pokemon in this game that drive me insane. To yeah, no, I feel that. Oh no, Pikachu! Fuck! <laughs> Damn it! What type of Pokemon is this? I thought it was like a normal type, but I don't know. Could be, could be ground. Yeah, ground. A rock or something. I'm just gonna give you some advice. If you see a Tauros with a different beard and horns, catch that shit. Man, like, it's it's so hard to tell the difference between the Tauros. Let's try, uh, see. Oh, it's super. Oh, oh it is brown. Mm. Good job, Evie. Baby doll eyes. Yes. Oh, so cute. Uh, covet. Because I don't care. Um. Mm. I can't think what else has happened this week. I don't know. Works, works just had me f all over the place. I don't even know. Ooh! Don't worry, the horns are fancy looking. Oh, so you'll you will know. You'll be like, that's a that's a special one. Um, you know what I was thinking about today that I'm like, this, I don't know. Now that I'm finished that commission, I kind of want to just like turn my brain off for like an evening. <laughs> I think I might restart. And remake uh, some, a project that I wanted to do a while ago. I still don't even know if I can stream it, to be honest, because uh, uh, just because the way that The Sims works on my computer is just trash. Like, 
If I try to do anything else while I'm doing The Sims, it's like, pardon, I'm using your entire GPU and, and CPU. Sorry. I don't know. It's, it's just using a lot of RAM, I think. But um, I want to make all my vertical friends so I can do a terrace house thingy. Reality show Sims with VTubers. I think that'd be fun. Yes! <laughs> I'm just like thinking like what mods I would actually like allow um, or maybe none at all. I feel like I, I need some mods for like certain things like, well there's no horns in um, in The Sims 4, like at all. <laughs> even to be honest, even in the modding community, um, there really aren't a lot of horns which makes me kind of sad because I'm like, missed opportunity. Um, Oh, you know, sorry, uh, rant about Breath of the Wild even though I love that game. Imagine me ranting way more because I hate it and that'll be my Gen 7 feelings. Um, because I actually kind of like 4. Plus, like, Sims 3 looks like ass. <laughs> the Sims look uncanny in the worst ways. They're like the worst part of a human face on their characters. <laughs> Don't like it. I actually kind of like the stylizedness of four. Um, it's, just, it's very cool. It's like I don't know. I like the clothes. There's still like stuff coming out for it too. Oh my god! Shut up, phone. Um, but yeah, I like I like Sims Four uh, for the most part, except for like the fact the my only my biggest complaint is that they have. <laughs> Wait, the Sims 4 modders are all too horny to add horns. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm still mad. Like, I, I mean, I should check the, um... Oh, God. I can't remember what the name of the website is, but it's, like, one of the main places that I feel like the Sims players, like, get their mods. Um, cause it's, it, it's a very active community, but, like, they... I should see if they have any more horns, because, like, the last time I checked, they had more, so... Just still, still none that I wanted. <laughs> but they still had them. Um, yeah, cause like I want to, I want to make folks. Uh, they made it third person. You mainly controlled your sim. Uh, it even had co-op. Oh god, the old old ones. You mean? Yeah, those ones are wild. Sims Five though got announced, and it will be multiplayer like that. Um, and that sounds, oh my god, so many babies, oh my god, none of them are the ones I want though, sorry, <laughs> I got excited. <laughs> He's kind of shiny, oh, yeah, come back, come back, buddy, sorry. Um... I want to play with the controller again so bad. Oh man. I don't know if controller really suits it too much. Like I'm kind of curious as to how Sims 5 is going to be if it's multiplayer. Because that probably insinuates it's going to be more um, character focused than um, builder focused. Which will be interesting. It does work. God, I'm just thinking like, how does builder mode work though? I feel like using the mouse is fine. Oh, I did like how in I see. But Sims 2 was pretty basic on what you were able to do and stuff, right? Yeah, because there was like so much less you had to worry about. Oh, this is actually gonna kill me, right? <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Mm. That's true. Although, um, I feel like things like the, um, they, they've added some new wall types, um, shape-wise, and I can see that being kind of a pain, because they're a pain even with a mouse and keyboard, so. I did not program that very well. 
One thing I do miss is like, um, there were, I feel like there were a lot more pool options um, in two and three. That being said though, um, there's more stuff um, like that aesthetically you can do with the pool too uh, in four, so. Like, okay, so I think the, since the last time I played The Sims, they've added two new packs and like 12 new stuff packs. Like, or, yeah. They added uh, like teens, uh, which actually is kind of tempting because then you can get um, like a streamer um, like activity and setup, which is really cool. Um, and they added werewolves, which I actually really, that one made me curious, although I found the world a bit limiting, but not as limiting as like doing the vampires. I think vampires, in my opinion, is probably the least enticing one, uh, if you know what you're getting, because it's like, the world that you get is useless. You don't actually get that much clothing, um, although being a vampire is kind of fun. But I feel like if you're if you're like hemming and hawing between that and um, uh, was it the world of magic or whatever the fuck, um, that one I found was way more engaging because you get like pretty much all the same benefits as you would from the vampire one, like being able to um, like teleport and you know. Uh, like not have to worry about food because you can like summon it <laughs> and all that stuff um like oh, that's all in the magic world one and then like on top of that you get like a whole story and like a whole interactive world to work with with collecting like familiars and spells and stuff it's really cool like legit the magic one's pretty really cool also i like the clothing the magic one a lot like a lot a lot <laughs> I like to kill my Pokemon. <laughs> Magic is just factually cooler than vampires. Oh man, but vampires are so edgy. <laughs> you get fangies. Oh, uh, that was another thing that I thought was kind of interesting was like in the vampires one, you get like, um, you have like your normal, like your day to day look, and then you have like your vampiric look when you're like ab about to do evil deeds or like go all au natural. And it's, it's so fucking funny. Like, because uh, default makes you look like an actual fucking, like, buffy nightmare. <laughs> Just veins and wrinkles and cracks everywhere. <laughs> Castlevania is an exception. Castlevania is fun. Wait, no, it's not. Anime uh, made Sifa look rad. Yeah, because Sifa was, like, not Sifa. <laughs> Sifa wasn't, like, that. Oops, shrug. Um... Yeah, like, not to say she wasn't, like, a huge part of the game, but, like, you know, none of the characters had, like, as much dialogue and depth as they did in the show. <laughs> ben Helsing? Like, the movie? No, okay, sorry. The, like, the animated movie? Not the... <laughs> the one with Wolverine in it. Although, I did have that on DVD. <laughs> Actually, I had two copies of that, because I got for Christmas and then I got it as a birthday gift. Oh, you meant the live action. Okay. I recently rewatched it. That movie could have ended three different times like throughout the entire time watching it. Not complaining. It's just like it you know, at one point it's just like and then and then they rode off into the Oh, no, no, there's still more. Okay, okay, okay. And and then Okay, we're finishing up. Nope, there's still more. <laughs> it's it's just so weirdly, like, not long, but it feels a little long. <laughs> it's so funny, though. I love the the weird, like, armor that, like, Dracula gets. Where he's, it looks like all muscle, like, tissue. It's so weird. <laughs> the... Uh, Sorry, the live action movie has my favorite werewolf transformation. Yes, I do remember that was really cool. You know what's another really good werewolf trans uh, transformation is American Werewolf in London. It's so visceral. 
like upsetting. <laughs> Plus, like it, it, he turned into like a, a more wolf man, wolf man, like more on the wolf side, but like not full wolf like they did in Twilight or whatever. Could not watch Twilight. I don't get how Kyrie likes it so much. I mean, by likes it, I mean she kind of like watches it. Oh shit. Um. Oh, thank you, Karina. Hope you're having a good evening. Yeah, aren't they like shapeshifters or some shit? I don't know. The idea of the werewolves ripping out of your body is so fucking rad. Yeah, okay. Yeah, like if you if you like that, then again, if you haven't seen American Werewolf London, then you would love that. Because it's 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 Oh, they're dire wolves? What? <laughs> Stupid. Eat the sheep. Yeah, and the worry about also saving. Hmm, <laughs> not effective. Jump, jump, jump. Uh, but yeah, uh, I like when werewolves are like that. I don't know, it's cool. It, it brings the actual horror back to the creature, you know. Fuck off, Mankey! Nah. I feel like if your werewolf walks on all four legs, you yes, I agree. Like they should run, maybe on all fours, but not walk. You should be able to stand tall and menacing. See if I do, because we might get snow on. Or it might just be sheet ice outside, and I'm not looking forward to that. Suck it, bitch. Uh, you know how I like writing lore and, and never use it for anything? Yeah? Do you have th something about werewolves? Good night. I have werewolf lore I wrote and I was thinking that each generation of werewolf becomes less wolf-like. That's interesting! Oh! Fucking goddammit! I can't remember what type of fucking Pokemon this is. Oh, it's... Psychic. Right. Little good night. Oh man. Nimble wants to learn endure. You know, maybe. Uh, no. Actually, that's really stupid and, and uh, quite a gamble. Hey, friend. I love that they just run around and then don't do the thing you want them to do. <laughs> I love that so very much. Uh -huh. <laughs> I remember thinking about vampires and the masquerade had something similar and wanted to work from that. <laughs> that within a, a werewolf mafia run by a large gray wolf, the higher you rank, the more wolf like you get. Ooh, that's neat. Trying to think what else I've been really up to, but. been working on that painting so much. That's just my, my, my head was all uh, busy with Gus. <laughs> the floofy cat. 
I am so happy I got to paint that. <laughs> um, I was workshopping an idea about Street Kings getting powers from... That's... See, that's cool. That's like what I wanted from the warriors. And I did not get... Oh, kill the baby! Become strong. Fancy. Leave me alone. <laughs> um, oh, so Camazo, welcome, welcome. Limon. Ready to challenge me? I love her. She's so cute. <laughs> How you been? It's been a while. Damn it. Cute little thing. I must murder you. Chillin'. Body sore. Body sore? Did you work out today? Like, ghosts taking uh, over homeless people and running an information company. Ooh, that's interesting! Like an end network. Uh, vampires running nightclubs and drug dealing to get human human edibles. <laughs> I like that. Black lagoon smugglers, etc. Man, when I think of like vampire like um, like edibles situation, um, oh, please don't kill it. No. <laughs> Um, I, I'm thinking of, um, uh, what was it? Dimension 20's, um... <gasps> What's it gonna turn into? Evie! Oh, Dimension 20's, uh... <laughs> Beyond. Welcome to this world. Oh. Um. <sighs> Disarming voice. Is it just uh -huh? Okay, uh, Dimension 20's, uh, uh, The Unsleeping City. Um, there's at one point a, a gang of, uh, not quite a gang, just like a, an a unsavory group of vampires who are m paying for this young woman to uh, do a bunch of drugs and then they drink her blood. <laughs> So I'm like, when you're saying that, I was like, ah, oh, that reminds me of this. Not to be like, oh, it's the same. No, it's just like, I like that concept a lot. It's very cool. Uh, because I figured if vampires have healing factors, they can't get high, right? Yeah, exactly. So why uh, not make the people they drink blood from get high before they eat? Yeah. And then they get like a, a weird extra high on top of it while sati satiating their, their, their hunger. Make them stronger. Like that. That's very cool. Oh man. If, if you guys have not listened to Dimension 20 um, and you like live play, like, um, uh, like tabletop RPGs, 1000% I recommend Dimension 20. Es especially The Unsleeping City. I really, really, really like that. The the setting of it being in New York, but it's D&D, &D, is super cool. Um, oh god, I'm trying to remember all the, the, the characters' names. But like... Um, <laughs> like, Lou's, Lou's character, I think, was... It's hard to choose favorites, because I feel like all of my favorites are, like, his and, like, uh... I think the actual character's name is Sophia. 
she fucking kills me. She's like supposed to be like this sort of Italian American like um like New York woman who whose husband uh she <laughs> assumes has like walked out on her and she's so sad. <laughs> but like but her thing is that she's a monk, like she, that's her class. So she's just like this scrappy <laughs> <laughs> like fucking Bronx lady. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> so funny. Matt Mercer is the calm, cool guy um, who has everything prepared. Brendan Lee Mulligan is a chaotic goblin that makes you go, what the fuck? He's a chaotic goblin that's like 1,000 steps ahead of you, and then you all. By the time like you get to like the like crescendo of the story, it's like everything fell along my my plan, babies. Like he's got you like totally like factored in. I love it. Um, the werewolf mafia idea was that the werewolves eat people, but that causes problems because it draws attention to have having to. Sorry. So having a controller over the population through an organized crime syndicate would be a way to kill people, but also keep an eye. Like they're they're the uh, hitman kind of people, and they're like, yes, I get to eat. <laughs> Keon Collins. I mean, that's it's kind of him. Uh, he, he's so fucking funny to me. Like I don't know. I uh, Brendan Lee Mulligan is a very smart man. Um, where is this fight taking place? <laughs> what happened? Okay, there we go. Um, but he, yeah, he's like so, so prepared, so, I don't know, it's, it, he's just very smart. Uh, but the shit he gives you is fucking nutcakes. It's, <laughs> it's so stupid and amazing. Um, I'm trying to think of like... <laughs> Oh god, like, I can't even say anything without spoilers, but like, even like, um, so Fantasy High is also a good place to start because that's like the first campaign, I'm pretty sure. Um, and the, the, <laughs> the fact that, um, uh, what's his name, uh, but he, he's like, I guess like another divorced dad energy kind of character, but like <laughs> the fact that he was supposed to be some throwaway character and then he just became very integral to like the extending series of Fantasy High <laughs> makes me die. <laughs> I love him. Yeah, what's it? Gilmere or something like that? He's like supposed to be um... Shit. Again, I'm terrible with names, uh, but the, the the tiefling girl, he's like her stepdad, um, who she thought was her actual dad throughout the series. This is not a spoiler. This is like first episode that you find this out that she found out that he's not her real dad. And she's like, she thought she was an elf this, like her throughout her entire childhood. She thought she was just an elf and then she hit puberty. And then she just goes like full teeth, like so it's like surprise, like <laughs> you know who you thought you were. She just goes like full like bad girl goth. It's so fucking funny. It's like what was Theft? Theft? <laughs> I think was her name or something. <laughs> so so fucking elvish, but like. And it's just like some fucking edgelord teen who's like, fuck you, dad. <laughs> Shit fucking kills me. Uh, but like, yeah, like, the way that Brennan plays that dad character fucking kills me. It's so funny. Uh... <laughs> yeah! I was gonna say, I forgot that Brendan Lee Mulligan, um, yeah, because he did, he basically made a campaign out of the comic book that his mom wrote, um, which is super cool. I still need to listen to it, but um, they stopped uploading their, um, like, the audio of their shows to their um, podcast uh, thing, so someday I'm just gonna have to just get uh, drop out 
for a month and just like binge. <laughs> Actually, I just found out that drop out's like five dollars. Maybe we'll do that in the new year. Just get some drop out media. Because I also really like a lot of the other drop out shows. Like, um, I I feel like daily I'm watching uh, clips from uh, oh, what's that game called? Uh, um, actually, I love that. It's so funny. Um, actually is amazing. Um. I like make some noise. Or what's well, Game Changer, but make some noise is a specific game on that one. <laughs> game Changer is so great. Um, actually, is the best. I remember, um, what was it? Someone couldn't make D&D &D one night, so it was just like Arnok uh, and I think t two of our players, including, and then myself. Uh, and we just watched, um, actually, <laughs> and we're all, like, yelling the answers, <laughs> we're like, it's this, it's this, and we're like, no, fuck, I'm wrong. It's so fucking funny. Um, Game Changers, uh, Simon says, is the most sadistic shit ever. Legit. Um. <laughs> what? was one of the, uh, oh, you're close to leveling up. Oh, it's, like, leveling up really well. Um, what's the one I watch a lot? I actually, recently I've been watching the musical ones. One sec, will I get content ID for this? Probably oh, not. Uh, <laughs> but there was one that fucking killed me. Uh, game changer. Yeah, these two fucking killed me. I wonder, can I show my screen? Whoops, that's the wrong program. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> this killed me. You're right, it would be, it would be. Here's a- Tom Waits- There we go. Refresh. Story of Sisyphus. Oh. And the crowd goes wild with recognition. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell yeah. It's so good. Abandon all hope, ye who enter <laughs> He does yeah. such a good job. Above the gates of hell. <laughs> Who's that rolling a rock over there? No man can tell. Offended the gods when he was alive. <laughs> so they had to kill. <laughs> and now old man Sisyphus just keeps rolling that stone up a hill. Cause what goes up has got to come down. Down in Hades town. <laughs> I watch this too much. Tom Waits <laughs> story of Like that guy, I need I this he's probably one of the reasons why I really want to get it. It's just because I'm like, I need to see more of his shit. He's so fucking funny. <laughs> but uh Aretha it? Franklin. Yeah, this one also made me laugh. I can When I saw you at the shopping mall. I said, damn, those shorts are pretty short. <laughs> Young man, you're shopping for the love in your life. I see something on my list that I'm going to like. You are some eye candy. Ooh. And I've got a sweet tooth. <laughs> you got some eye candy. And I see four suits. Like a 
sugar infection. You're so my candy, and I could use my Aretha. Fr Fucking love it. The oh yes, <laughs> the comic sans. <laughs> Oh my god, that would fucking <laughs> I okay, I love Zach. <laughs> Comic sense. Oh no. Come back. There we go. <laughs> um He's so good. Just the, <laughs> the fucking so stupid. <laughs> oh no, no, right. And I clicked the wrong thing. One sec, there we go. There's seen too much. And then this one. <laughs> uh. Was that one muted too? Dang it. We can do it again. Oh wait, no, wrong one. The long-awaited meeting between Times New Roman and Comic Sans. What mercy do you think you will find in my heart? The fields behind me are littered with the bodies of fonts braver and more cunning than you. Baskerville lies dead in dust. <laughs> Apple Chancery. But a distant memory. I struck down Helvetica. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think your posted, handwritten invitation on an old school blog come to my birthday party this weekend? I want to insinuate that it's going to be fun. <laughs> so good. By the time I'm done with you, you're gonna look like webdings, my friend. Don't you mean wingdings? What? <gasps> <laughs> Ooh, what's a luxury ball? Oops, nope, I didn't want you. You over here, and she over here. I finished. Okay, okay. Uh, single most. Yeah. Uh, I finished the idea for the new gothic horror game I just made up just now. Sure. <clears throat> share away. Come share away. Come share away, come share your ideas with me. Mm, no, that didn't fit. Yeah. Ooh, so many manky. A mummy that r runs a casino, but the chips represent your life force. Oh boy! Yeah. <laughs> uh, you literally gamble with your life, and the mummy is like a super hot, young-looking Egyptian with mind control, like in the original black and white films. Ah, oh, I like that. Because you know how casinos all have uh, lines of old people just in slot machines? Oh. Who was it? Someone made a really funny post where it's just like... It's like, <coughs> look at this, not a phone in sight. It's just a line of old people like <laughs> pulling the knobs out of a fucking slot machine. It's like, oh, jeez. 
I, I'm not really much into gambling. I don't find it very um, appealing at all. <laughs> so that shit made me laugh. I think that's like the, the reason why like I don't get into gotchas too much. Is because like just the gamble of it all is kind of like infuriating. At least like I know Sky's expensive with like with, like with all their season stuff, like that is really, really cool. But like is this is this the one thing? I don't think so. No, absolutely not. Um my train of thought. But yeah, I, I think, yeah, like, gotcha games, I just, they're not that appealing to me because I'd rather just spend the, the, the few extra dollars to guarantee that I had the thing than just gamble. Because <laughs> obviously that means you're going to lose way more than what it's worth. Um, <laughs> I figured why not make them young. The Mummy's Casino is super cheap and has a fancy buffet that's going like, ooh, I see, I'll be there. <laughs> Did nothing, then you're probably gonna do something. The people actually win a lot, but they leave drained and have short lives. Oh, okay. basically uh, amasses so much wealth and has uh, investments in everything so all they need to do is prolong their life is it <laughs> okay I'm, I'm probably just gonna have to send it to you because I don't feel like fully sharing m or outing myself for, for bad taste <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, there is a <laughs> no. okay so um, in Monster High Cleo Denial's family is like obviously like a pharaoh family, like they're royalty. Um, but in the movie, like the whole in oh god, what movie was that? Like uh, Boo York, I think is what it was called. <laughs> Stupid. Anyways, the there's a song in that in that movie called Empire, <laughs> and that's what I'm thinking of. It's like. It's, they're trying to like build like their like wealth by like buying like like joining like a famous like real estate family and by joining I mean like marrying into, um, and yeah that's what I'm thinking of when I when I think like <laughs> mummies and uh, uh, real estate. <laughs> that song kind of slapped though. It the only part that I didn't really like conceptually was the fact that. The, the male singing voice for Cleo's dad is the same one that does uh, Deuce, which is Cleo's boyfriend. <laughs> like, I think they literally got two people who could sing to do the whole movie. <laughs> it's like, no. <laughs> Mummies are fucking rad. Uh, in fiction, I don't give a fuck what people say. I agree, I like mummies. I, I kind of hate that when they turn them into like Mila zombies. Like I think the whole cool thing about m mummies is that like they may be slow, but they're like actually like <laughs> tough as fuck. Actually, oh my save. I'm so happy he's freaking EB evolved. That's adorable, <laughs> Sylvia. <laughs> I'm just gonna save. But uh, yeah. Um, if you want to know what I'm talking about, though, 
and, and you want to hear like a mediocre pop song from a, a, a shitty movie for kids um look up empire monster high boo york <laughs> But I think on that note, on that note, I think it's going to be it for me. Um, I'm just going to actually, yeah, let's mute that just in case I run accent on the stream. I think we should do a mute raid. Monkey Prince is playing River City Girls 2. That is actually pretty sick. Uh, but maybe I'll be writing more lore I'll never use again. <laughs> you have a good night, Nick Hates Now. Oops. Monkey Prince. Yeah, I hope everyone has a good one. I will see you guys tomorrow. I think we're uh, playing some Mario Kart with uh, GD. Yamora and Karina, so that should be fun. Uh, you guys have fun with Monkey Prince, though. I haven't seen River City Girls yet, but it looks cool. But yeah, anyways, have a good evening, and I will see you in just a day. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye!